Hello everybody, welcome back to our channel. In this episode, we're gonna be solving a physics 7C practice problem. The topic for today's video is the uh, wave equation. As usual, if you're finding this content helpful, leave a like, it really helps our channel. So this is the problem that we're gonna be working on today. You are observing a leaf oscillating on a pond as ripples move to the right through the water. You start your stopwatch and take a picture of the wave 3 seconds later, capturing 20 meters of the wave as shown below. You also time the leaf oscillating in the pond and plot its motion as shown below. However, this is a quiz, so you forgot to mark the location of the leaf. Part A. Find all possible locations of this leaf in the 20 meter range shown on the plot. Show your work. Write down the wave equation for this wave. Show your work. And you notice a duck at x is equal to 2 meters. What is the duck's displacement at t is equal to 5 seconds? Show your work. Okay, so this is a bigger picture of the plot, but again, if you would rather have the uh, PDF of the quiz with you, uh, just go ahead and look it up on the description or the comments or whatever. It should be, you know, somewhere in there. Okay, so as you can see, I have um, a little drawing of both of the uh, pictures over here. I'm actually excited to do this quiz because this quiz I was a TA for and I remember that boy, it sent every single student, you know, on an existential trip. Like people were just like, what is happening? So, but I never did it myself because as a TA, you know, just want to move on. Uh, just don't really care that much. Uh, but I am kind of like, you know, excited to take this little challenge of uh, finally doing this quiz uh, by myself. Uh, so let's do part A first. So all possible. of the leaf. All right, so let's see, how do we find this? So first of all, this is time is equal to three. So that means that if I go to this graph, which is time here, so time is here, and this time is equal to three. So we are actually talking about this point over here. And if I uh, look at this point over here, I can see that y is equal to zero. So that really helps because my options are now, uh, you know, y is equal to zero over here, y is equal to zero over here, y is equal to zero over here, over here, over here, and over here. So that, you know, I have six options just by doing this interpretation. Like you go over here, you say it's equal to zero, so it must be here. However, we can do something else <clears throat> to move things along. Yes, yes we can because this wave is moving to the uh, right. So this wave is moving to the right, which means that you know this guy is moving on this direction but as time goes on what really happens is that this guy moves up so say for example 12 over here doesn't work because uh, no 12 does work 16 doesn't work because the wave is moving to the right. So that means that this one is going down, right? So like if this entire thing translates right, 16 would actually uh, go down versus 12, for example, 12 would start going up. So 12 would start going up, which works. Four would start going up, uh, which works. 20 would start going up, which works. And then 16 doesn't work, eight doesn't work, zero doesn't work. So that's our final answers. So this guy could either be 4, 12, or 20 meters. All right, so that would be part A. 
So now let's go ahead and see uh, what part, what does part B mark again? Oh, the, the entire wave equation and show your work. Okay, so let's just start by writing the wave equation. So, so we have A sine 2 pi time divided by T plus minus 2 pi X lambda uh, plus the phase constant plus the equilibrium position okay so let's start with the easy ones the amplitude again the way in which I do it is I take min max then I go 1 2 3 4 divided by 2 that's equal to 2 displacement constant I do maximum minus a maximum is maximum is equal to 2 minus a 2 minus 2 is equal to 0 period a period I can very easily get from which of the graphs this one because this one is the one that has the time on it so for periods and uh, wavelengths I always grab maximums maximums over here and over here and then this distance over here is one, two, three, four. So this is four seconds. Lambda. Lambda I would get from this graph because this is X. So I would go to, to, to here, here, like this, and then, you know, two, four, uh, six, eight. So this one is eight. And then minus or plus, this wave is moving to the right. So this is actually minus. And the only thing that we have to figure out is this little guy as usual. So let's just go ahead and do that. And I'm gonna use the method that I always use. Again, everybody has their little thing that they do. Um, just go ahead and do whatever makes you feel more comfortable. So let's see, I'm going to use my substitution method and I'm going to use this maximum over here. This maximum over here is at t is equal to zero and x is equal to, it can be whatever, it doesn't matter. This means that all of them are going to give you the exact same graph. So I'm just going to put four. Uh, your y is equal to two. So I'm just going to substitute here. Um, so 2 is equal to 2 sine 2 by 0 over 4, which is 0, minus 2 pi 4 divided by, what was it, 8, uh, plus this thing that you're looking for, and then plus 0. So sine negative one of one because this is two divided by two uh plus uh this is eight divided by eight so this is just pi is equal to your time constant now let's see sine negative one of one So this is what we have, sine negative one of one. And if you want to see how many pi there is, just divide by pi. So this is half a pi. Plus pi is equal to your uh, phase constant. So that means that uh, your constant is 1.5 pi, so three halves. Like this. So now we actually have a final answer. So our final answer, which I'm just gonna write over here, is um so this is two sine two pi t divided by four minus two pi x divided by eight plus three halves pi plus zero.
So final answer for part B. This was final answer for A. So now for part C, let's see what it says. So you notice a duck at X is equal two meters. What's the duck's displacement at T is equal five seconds? Show your work. So basically they are giving you an X, a T, and what they want is the displacement. So what is this number? So, you know, several ways to do this. You can very easily do it visually, but I honestly think that if you already have like this thing over here, like why wouldn't you just substitute? So we're just gonna substitute here and here and then see what we get over here. So Y for the duck is two sine. So um, two times five, 10 pi divided by four minus uh, two times two is four uh, divided by eight plus three halves. Okay, yep, so I did it correctly. So we just put it in a calculator basically. So let's see. So we wanna do sine of 10 pi divided by four minus four pi divided by eight plus three pi, three pi divided by two. And then I actually forgot to multiply the amplitude, right? Yeah, so I'm just gonna multiply it at the end. Times two, it's equal to negative two. Uh, so the displacement of the duck is equal to negative two meters. So the duck is at a minimum. So there we go. So this is the end of the problem. Honestly, it wasn't really that hard. I don't understand why students were so um, unraveled by this. Like I remember students being very upset by this, but you know, it's, it had a, it had a moment, but otherwise, you know, it's a pretty standard problem. I, it's, once you have enough practice with this, um, you know, I guess every, every problem is sort of like the same procedure. You want to find lambda, you want to find, um, <clears throat> you want to find lambda, then you want to find the period, then you want to find the velocity if you need to. And you so you basically just go like that. Um, but yeah, so this is uh, this is small ripples make big waves. If you if you found this video helpful, please make sure to leave a like, and I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye.